everyone, welcome to Greybeard's Jewels. Today, we bring you part one of our five-part series, Haunts and Legends from Every State. From Alabama, we have the Drish House. The house is haunted by Sarah, the wife of Dr. Drish, who died from a drunken fall. She saved candles from his funeral to use at her own, but when the time came, they couldn't be found. Angered, she now enjoys starting phantom fires in the third story tower. Alabama also brings us the tale of Dead Children's Playground, which is adjacent to Maple Hill Cemetery and was originally meant as a place for children to play while their parents visited the graves of their loved ones. But legend holds that once night falls, the children buried in the cemetery come out to play. Orbs of light can be seen flitting about the swings and slides. Alaska is where you'll find the Jesse Lee home for children, which was once a very nice orphanage until an earthquake struck in 1964, killing several children. It's since been rebuilt and now serves as a museum where visitors' accounts vary from an instant feeling of dread and doom all the way to hearing the sounds of children singing, laughing, and playing. Alaska is also where you'll find the Alaska Triangle, which, like its more famous cousin, the Bermuda Triangle, is an area where people tend to go missing. Over the past 50 years, 20,000 people have vanished without a trace. Native Tlingit lore says trickster demons are to blame for luring the lost to an icy death. Arizona is home to the beautiful historic Rawson House, which operates as a museum today, and staff and visitors have reported doors locking on their own, fireplaces giving off phantom heat, and hearing footsteps on the stairs, said to be those of a former caretaker that was murdered outside the house during the 1980s. Arizona also brings us the legend of skinwalkers, who are said to be Navajo medicine men who chose the dark ways instead of the light. They search the land for victims to feed their evil needs for human flesh, and appear as half-man, half-creature, shape-shifting beings who won't hesitate to use their supernatural abilities to murder innocent victims. Just a quick reminder to like and subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for your support. In Arkansas, the Crescent Hotel embraces its many hauntings and offers guests ghost tours. Not only are there many spirits here, but room 218 is said to be very haunted by the spirit of a stonemason who enjoys messing with the lights, TV, and doors of the room along with knocking loudly on the walls. Also in Arkansas, the small town of Quitman is home to the Dog Boy. The hulking half-man, half-beast is said to peer through the window of the home he once occupied with glowing eyes. In life, Gerald Bettis was a terrible evil child who abused his elderly parents and gathered stray animals to torture to death. California is where you'll find Bodie, a ghost town that now operates as a state park that allows guests a glimpse into the Gold Rush era. The town's former residents still linger and there are reports of a woman looking out of a window, and some adults even say they've been attacked by an unseen force. California is also home to Turnbull Canyon, legendarily home to countless spirits ranging from those who refused to embrace Christianity to children sacrificed in rituals. There are tales of satanic cults and evil witches practicing their dark rituals in the canyon, and Native Americans believe the devil himself also lived here. Colorado is where you'll find St. Elmo, another mining ghost town which has been well maintained and visitors have reported various haunted happenings. Famously, Annabelle Stark, who remained after everyone else abandoned the town in life, still hasn't left even in death. Colorado also brings us the legend of Riverdale Road, which is probably a road you should avoid. The laundry list of paranormal and downright scary things includes many demons, a pack of devil dogs, phantom cars, ghostly joggers, and the story of a man who burned his house down with his wife and children still inside, and just the gates of hell. In Connecticut, the new London Ledge Lighthouse is still home to a former keeper, Ernie's Spirit. 
Who seems to be rather mischievous. He likes to knock on all sorts of stuff, move things around, and rip the sheets right off the beds. Connecticut also is home to Dudley Town, an abandoned town claimed to be completely void of all wildlife, sometimes called the Dark Vortex. Paranormal occurrences include orbs of light, shadowy animals that are not there, and if you take a souvenir while passing through, allegedly you and your family will be plagued by the same curse as the founding family. In Delaware, the Governor's Mansion, also known as Woodburn, is not only one of the most haunted places in the state, but one of the most legendary as well. Built by Charles Hilliard III in the late 1700s, it was reportedly haunted by Hilliard himself just 25 years later. Over the years, other spirits have joined in, and some have seen the spirit of a little girl wearing a gingham dress, and the screams of a slave raider that never made it off the property can still be heard. Today you can tour the historical home, and it's said if you leave a glass of wine on the stairs, Charles finds it irresistible, and that glass will be empty by morning. In Florida, you'll find the Riddle House, which was built next to a cemetery and served as a funeral parlor at one time. Perfect setting for a haunting. The house was moved from its original location to Yesteryear Village, and its ghostly inhabitants came along, and are said to be angrier and more active since they were disturbed. In Florida, you'll also find Old City Cemetery, where you can see the huge obelisk-shaped monument of Elizabeth Bud Graham, nicknamed Bessie. Legendarily, she was a witch, and therefore buried facing west, opposite traditional Christian burial, and a passage from Poe's Lenore was used as an epitaph, which some people believe indicates a stake was driven through her heart, leaving her somewhere between living and dead. In Georgia, Haunted Savannah is home to the Lucas Theater. This historic locale has many ghostly sightings, including shadowy figures, feelings of being watched, and sounds of phantom applause from an invisible audience. Also in Georgia, you can find Lake Lanier, which is the site of numerous mysterious drownings and boat accidents, many more than are typical for a lake of this size. Perhaps the fact that many were displaced from their homes, and likely their graves, the structural remains of which are still said to lie below the surface of the man-made lake, plays part in the seemingly cursed waters. In closing, we hope you enjoyed these stories. Stay tuned for part two, coming soon. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Greybeard's Jewels. And don't forget the podcast.